Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I want to show you Zoho campaigns. What it is, how it works, how to sync contacts from the CRM or a lot of other apps, to be honest, and how to then track if it's working. So Zoho campaigns at its highest level is an email marketing application. It rivals Constant Contact, MailChimp, a bunch of those. Uh, it does many things. It sends one-off blasts like a newsletter. It does drips like a series if you have someone onboarded and you want to kind of drip them at a certain interval. Uh, it also does some logical things or what they call workflows uh, where you can put a lot of logic into if this, do that. If someone opens something, do that. Um, but the biggest question we get at Blue Root is how the heck do we get people in to Zoho campaigns? So if you're a CRM client, that's what I'm going to focus on today. And that's probably the first step. So within campaigns, you're going to have lists. Now, this is a demo account, but the way to think of lists is a group of clients, right? Or a group of leads or just a group of any contact. And so you can see there's all kinds of lists. So you can go ahead and create your own list. It's very intuitive and simple. You click create list, you name it. If you're in Europe, we'll have a separate video on this, but you have to comply with GDPR. If you're in North America, uh, you have to say how you know about them before you add people into the list. You can have many lists. There's no real limit on lists. And we won't dig into that too much today, but I would say step one is make a list, right? Once you have your lists, then you need to get contacts in. So if you're not a Zoho CRM client, you can simply go to the list and you can upload clients into that list, right? So you can actually click on it, go into it and actually upload clients. So I'll pause the video here. Actually, it just loaded. So I'm going to hit add. You can see, uh, you can add contacts. And when you do, it will then say, how do you want to add them? Do you want to add them via Excel, one by one, whatever. So one by one, import, sync, and a sign up form. So I'm gonna go now to the sync, and this is the most common question that a lot of our clients have. So under sync services is where you can actually automate contacts coming in and contacts going out of Zoho campaigns. So you can see CRMs here. They also have another app, which we have a whole other video series on called Begin. Zoho Meeting is Zoho's webinar app, the recruiting application, uh, a few other ones here, Zendesk is a support software, typically HubSpot's another CRM. So you can go through this and, and the, the process will be very similar to what I show you if you use any of these other apps. So I'm gonna do the CRM and I'm gonna hit new sync. You have two options in the syncing, immediate, which means when someone comes into the CRM, they immediately go into here. Very very heavily used by e-commerce companies or companies that really want to communicate with clients quickly. The other more old fashioned one is periodic. I'll show you immediate. It's becoming more popular, but periodic is once a day records will come in. So if it's just for an email newsletter and things like that, you might just be fine with records coming in once a day. So I'll hit create. And then it asks you which module do you want to pull records from? So out of box, it gives you leads and contacts, which are people you can email. A lot of clients ask us, oh, why can't we email our opportunities or our accounts? Well, an opportunity isn't a person and neither is an account. An account is a business. You can't email a business, but you can email Jenna at that business, right? So uh, I'm gonna choose contact or leads for this example. Actually, we hid leads in this sample. So I'm gonna do contacts, but you could choose leads if that works for your team. Once I do choose leads or contacts, you name it something. So this sync isn't really seen by anyone. So I'll call it all contact sync. And then the list we created earlier, you tell Zoho, where do you want to put these contacts? So maybe I'll just put them in trade show for now. These here are basically, it's going to ignore certain people uh, from the CRM if they've chosen to email opt out. So we'll hit next. Now there's a mapping exercise you have to go through. So by default, it gives you a few fields, but if you wanna bring in more fields, for example, if you wanna send out an email campaign pertinent to a certain province, postal code, city, type of product, um, things like that, you can map any field from the CRM. 
So you could do uh, in this sample database, maybe I do industry. And then if that field exists in campaigns, it'll auto map it. If it does not, you can hit new field and add, and it'll create that field in Zoho campaigns. So it's a really handy thing where once you do this once, it'll auto bring these records in. If you change the record in the CRM, it'll update it in campaigns. Then you'll hit initiate and you'll wait till it's done. So that's like the biggest step of campaigns is getting all the contacts in here. And we'll have follow-up videos on some of the other steps you can do in later videos.